just a few days before Halloween, I picked up this Monster Mission 5-pack from Hot Wheels. Quite often these 5-packs are named for track sets coming up. I don't think this is going to be a track set. I think it's called Monster Mission because of the decals on the sides. Here you have the Humvee. We see that model from uh, time to time. It's still around. Praying Menace. Yeah, he's been around for a while. No surprise. Nice to see him back. Got to look like a satin paint job. Formula Street. Yep, definitely been around. He's seen quite a few releases in the last few years. But these two models here, these guys are uh, old guys on top. Brutalistic. Both of these cars came out in 2004. Brutalistic. It's had quite a few colors. This model here. Hey, where you been? Long time no see. 2004 was an interesting year. It's when Mattel released the Hot 100. They had 100 first editions released. Yeah, they were called first editions. 100. And maybe it was just a little too much. One of the series that was not well received was the Fatbacks. Kids might have liked them because as the name indicates, they're called Fatbacks because the uh, back wheels were really fat. This uh, Shelby Cobra 427SC was kind of nice. The silhouette was a throwback to the old red line. But you know what? Adult collectors did not care for these. They did not sell well at all. The fat packs are pretty much gone. You don't even see them recolored. You don't see them in five packs. Gone. Goodbye. Another 2004 series that uh, didn't do very well was the Hard Nose. Here you have the Chevy Monte Carlo 1974. And that's why they were called Hard Nose. They were kind of given a stylistic look as if you were looking at it like this. But it was that's, that's really how it was. Big hard nose. Now this one, gone. You got your uh, Chevy 1959. Gone. The only one that I've seen released recently that I can think of is the hard nose Batmobile that was released in that uh, Walmart Bat Batman set. Another 2004 series was the Cruise. While the hard nose exaggerated the front, the Cruise exaggerated the tail. Here you have the Le Melt. If you notice, the uh, man is really emphasized. Look how low and flat that is. This model here, gone. Haven't seen it in a long time. But there are some Cruise models that we still see getting recolors. The Woozy. Glad to see that this one is still around. Here we have the Low Flow. I think this one got uh, recolored with the Monster something. I'm sure you guys will tell me. In one of the adult lines, it got a recolor. But this one, uh, this one got, uh, this one was in the Walmart too, just like that other Batmobile I told you. So apparently they like to use this Cruise Batmobile as well. Hang on, sir. Don't get angry. I'm getting to your part of the story. 2004. The Blings. Oh, yeah. I really love the Blings. Haven't seen the Dairy Delivery Blings in a while. They were kind of, uh, they were squished a little bit. Kind of a shorten, but they had kind of larger wheels. There's my avalanche. Oh, yeah. Only got two colors, I think. It was in a Heat Fleet 5-pack. But uh, here is the first edition's version. And this Hummer was pretty sweet, too. Uh, I don't recall if this one's been used recently. It might have been... I'm thinking of a San Diego Padres promo, but uh, maybe I could be mistaken. Love those shiny wheels. And the last series for today, the Tuned. Some of the Tuned cars still get re-released, like this uh, Camaro Z28, 1969. I'm not sure if this one's been re-released, but there have been some of the Tuned cars re-released. Makes sense, they got that uh, big engine. But what about the uh, Tuned Diora? Where you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm sure Diora fans would like him to re-release. Re and then we have the Tuned Enzo Ferrari. So some of these Hot 100 series, some of the Hot 100 were pretty good. Some not so good. Some of them went bye-bye, never to be seen again. Which brings me to this guy. One release as a 2004 first edition, and then gone. So I thought he was gone for good. 
I guess not. His name is High IQ. And of course, there's the names of the other ones in the package. I did want to show you in the back because apparently they have an app. You can scan this little QR code. And apparently there's an app that you can play. Probably might be only in the USA, but uh, there's a look of the uh, only previous release, the uh, first editions. There's a look at the fir uh -oh. first editions release. Pretty nice. Had a uh, satin paint job. Very nice. Had a neat uh, solar type uh, energy tampo on top. Clear top so that you can see right in there. I think it actually pops off. I don't know if it's supposed to, but I think it does. This model also has one of the uh, rare attributes that uh, hardly any other Hot Wheels has. Let me see if they can pop this off. Nope. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or it just happens. So you get a look at the interior. Kind of neat. It has these uh, almost look like fangs on top there, huh? It has a rare attribute that hardly any other Hot Wheels has. Can you see it? Like well, you might not be able to see it with my fingers in the way. Hang on. Actually, I didn't even notice that till right now. Look, it's got Hot Wheels in the circles. Can you see it? H O T W H E E L S. Wow, I don't remember ever noticing that. Pretty cool. Of course, I didn't have this good camera way back when this first came out. Anyways. Yeah, kind of a neat model satin paint job. Nice design, but this car has an attribute that is very few Hot Wheels models has. Do you know what it is? Can you tell? Without me telling you what it is? Skinny wheels. It's got skinnies all the way around. The front axle's got skinny. It's got skinny wheels. The uh, rear axles look skinny wheels. And that's why I didn't buy any that many in the first place because skinny wheel is not so good for uh, downhill racing. I don't know why. Maybe they just wobble too much. I don't know. Not good for boosters too much either. They get wonky real easy. So there's the mm, 2004 first edition. Now let's take a look at the uh, Philip. Dude, long time no see. I took a look at uh, both of the models and it looks like they pretty much kept the uh, the designs on both. I don't see any changes. Now I'm sure they did not keep the uh, tooling around, the tools. I'm sure they didn't keep them around for so long. Pretty much they just scrap them and let them go. I thought this guy was long gone. I'm sure the base is going to be different because now they have different uh, requirements. The uh, five pack version made in Thailand. And it also has the, uh, this right here. I'm sure you guys get some questions. 1186MJ1NL. You know what that is? That's the address in Europe. They have to put that on there for their uh, for their laws. It's required for the address to be on there. And back here, it, it didn't have to be on the base back then. Originally made in Malaysia. And the reason this one's Thai, Thailand is because five packs. Five packs are made in Thailand. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Go ahead and look at the rest of the models in this pack. You guys are probably wondering, is the uh, Humvee glow in the dark? Nope, not glow in the dark. Oh yeah, monster designs. You got your eyeball on your teeth. Eyeball and teeth. This one it just kind of has like a some kind of <laughs> funny looking creature. Is he buying the track loop? Or no, it says no. I'm not sure I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Take a look. Looks the same on both sides. Brutalistic. Got himself an eyeball and some squiggly lines. Oh yeah, it could be tentacles. Now that I uh, look closer at it, I think it might be tentacles. What do you think? Or is it that guy from uh, Monsters Incorporated? Maybe this guy went, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe he got something and went crazy. I don't know. Same. Praying Menace. Got the scary face right there. And last but not least, Mr. Formula Street. They didn't put a whole lot of tampo on him. It's eyeball and some teeth. Got some flames. 
That's about it. Hey, I see you. I see him in there. You see him? He's driving. He's got his arms sticking out. New fire pack. Nice to see. High IQ back. What about you guys? Uh, did you have the original piece? 2004. Some of you might not even be uh, born 2004. Some of you like me. Uh, never mind. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.